Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It! That stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Taktikokos. Okay guys, today I want to talk to you about something that I think we know in theory and if it's in conversation coming up or if you hear somebody talking about it or if you were to... I think we say it more than we actually live it and or believe it. And um, and that's many defeats doesn't mean you're defeated. Many defeats does not mean you are defeated. Okay? Under all of that under one condition. That is all true under one condition. And that condition is if you get back up. If you don't give up. Okay? You may not have the answer today. You might have gotten knocked down on your rusty dusty. But if you get back up, if you don't quit, if you keep knocking at the door from house to house, from person to person, opportunity to opportunity, yes, you will get tired. Yes, you will get weary. And yes, you may get discouraged but you don't have to quit. You can regroup, go back to the drawing board, and you can find a better way to get it done, better way to do it, a better way to attract a person you want, a better way to build your body, a better way to feed your body, a better job that gives you better opportunities for you, better opportunities for your family, and so on and so on. The possibilities, as they say, are endless. You can't give up. Guys, let's say, you know, you have that family member that has a substance abuse problem, right? Now, he gets labeled, okay? Gets labeled as a druggie, an alcoholic, whatever, right? If somebody keeps trying to diet and fails, you know, oh, they're just lazy, oh, they're just this. Yeah. There's, there's so many factors that you can't judge. You don't know. You're not in their shoes, okay? And unless it's causing you your life to suffer to a great degree, you've got to search your heart and see if you can, um, if you can find it in yourself to still be there or to fight one more day with them or to believe in them or whatever. But do it intelligently, you know? But when it comes to you not them being the offenders or someone offending you with actions or behaviors or you know shortcomings or stumbling or whatever it is right you've got to look at yourself in the mirror every day and you've got to quit blaming other people for what you perceive to be the next no or the the failure whatever it is and you're going to say, how can I own this? What can I do? What can I... You know, everybody knows the little things that are stopping them from greatness, from achieving the body they want, for being the better person that they want to be. You know, people will give up a lot until it really hurts. And they have those one or two little hidden areas, the little dark spots that a lot of times people can either take to the grave because they're so good at hiding it or protecting it or they're you know hiding their vulnerabilities and you know the best way to approach or to deal with that stuff and the best way to get to your victories and quit and start to eliminate some of the defeats that perhaps because you're not dealing with those dark places and you're just simply letting them fester and thinking as long as I keep the closet closed when, you know, my company comes over, as long as they don't see what's in that closet, they see this clean area, but they don't want to see those dark places. Or we don't want them to see those dark places that are in our minds, that are in our hearts, that are in our habits, you know. And we all have them. And you've got to, at some point, if you're not living the life you want, if you're not happy, truly happy, and you can honestly look in the mirror and say, I'm not living... A fake life I'm not pretending to be somebody I'm not you know I'm content with me wholeheartedly um, you've got to go into those deep dark places and start to clean those closets out okay 
And I just think that there's many times that, you know, how many times was somebody one more try away from victory, you know, and they just had had it or they just quit and they either didn't have the the support from family or friends or they didn't do enough um, internal, you know, uh, inventory to see what they're really made of and how bad they really wanted something because I've known people that they would have literally starved to death or lost everything because they they bet on themselves and they believed in themselves enough and their purpose and their mission and they did their work they did their homework and they also accepted that there will be defeats along the way there will be failures but you know you factor those in as part of the journey it's part of you know it's part of doing business it's everything is risk on some level life's a risk you're here by chance or by miracle or what have you and you don't know how many days are promised you don't know how many years there will be in your life you don't know if you're going to get hit by a car tomorrow you don't know if disease will come and take you in days you don't know if you'll be in a terrible car you don't know anything yet you might be here till 100 so life's a risk life is adventure Life is the whole spectrum of emotions. So be the hero of your own story and be ready to fight. Be ready to work. Keep your head clear, your mind right, and go after it. You're worth it. And if you don't believe you're worth it, I'm damn sure positive that nobody else will either. Keep your head up, kid. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.